the wisdom of God. Look at verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God. Notice, but we speak the wisdom of God. Notice these words, in a mystery. See, the wisdom of God is a mystery. You say, mystery to who? To the natural man. Because my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Uh, but, you know, he says, uh, those that, that don't believe, they can't hear the voice. Because the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Notice verse 7, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even, notice the words, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. He said, we speak the hidden wisdom, the wisdom that's a mystery. Notice verse 9, but as it is written, well, look at verse 8, we already talked about it, but look, look at it again. Which none of the princes of this world knew, for had they known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. And usually people, you know, talk about heaven and, and eternity from that verse. But here's the thing. He says, I have not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. But look at verse 10. But God hath revealed them unto us by his Spirit. So notice, he's not talking about, like, heaven because we haven't seen heaven. He's saying, I natural man, unsaved man, the eyes of an unsaved man hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither hath entered in the, the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them. But God hath revealed them unto us by His Spirit. You say, what is that talking about? Here's what that's talking about. It's talking about the fact that an unsaved person can pick up this Bible all day long and read it all day long, and they're not going to understand it. And by the way, that's why an unsaved person can't just get saved by reading the Bible on their own. Amen. I mean, in the book of Acts, we see that, uh, we, we, we see that uh, 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 what was it, not the, I'm thinking Philippian uh, eunuch, uh, the eunuch, there you go. We see the eunuch as he was reading the book of Isaiah, and he's asked, understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, well, how can I except some man should guide me, right? Because, look, you say, well, why couldn't I understand it? Because the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. And you say, well, what do you get when unsaved people read the Bible and try to be religious? Well, you get things like the Roman Catholic Church, you know, where they're just, where it seems like they're doing the exact opposite of what the Bible says, right? Where we talked about this, where, you know, God said, where Jesus says, don't repeat and chant this verse over and over. And then what does the Roman Catholic Church say? They say, well, let's take that verse and chant it over and over. Or Jesus says, don't call any man father on this earth. And what does the Roman Catholic Church say? Let's call our leaders father. You know? Or Jesus says, hey, you know, the Bible says that Mary is just a woman that was a sinner like any other woman. And she needed Jesus, you know, as her savior. And what does the Roman Catholic Church say? Well, let's worship her. You, and it's all, you almost start laughing and thinking to yourself, like, are these people serious? I mean, everything... Everything that the Bible says, they get it the opposite. You know, you, what happens when unsaved people start studying the Bible and, and being religious? You get things like the Jehovah's Witnesses, right. who literally teach that the 144,000, we all stay on earth, the 144,000 go to heaven. If you read the book of Revelation, you know it's the exact opposite. We, go, we all go to heaven in the rapture and the 144,000 come down on the earth you know, sealed during the wrath of God. They have a seal so the wrath won't come upon them. And you say, well, how could they just not understand it? Because the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. 